Nom, nom, nom. There you go. Well, uh, Janaki's a tough act to follow, and Janaki Devi was just live, pouring her heart out for Krishna, just pouring her heart out for Krishna. Hare Krishna, that's a tough act to follow. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram. I'm such a rascal. She's crying and crying and crying, and the more she's crying, <laughs> the more I'm laughing. It's <laughs> I'm not laughing at her. I'm not laughing at her. I'm laughing because it's so beautiful, and it, it's making me joyful to see <laughs> her experiencing this kind of ecstatic emotion and it's making me just smile and, and just and it's wonderful. Hi Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Krishna Chaitanya. But uh, there is something that uh, just came to my attention. And, um, yeah, these unwanted things, ways of thinking, um, ways of behaving, um, they call them anartas. And I'm filled with them, and I never know what the next one is that's going to pop up and that I'll have to deal with until it's popped up and I'm dealing with it. So identifying something for me, is like 99% of getting rid of it, just being able to identify it. So this recent anarta, um, it's very interesting. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. Hare Bal! <laughs> Janaki's a tough act to follow. <laughs> I, just, I just came face to face with another anarta. I've just been relieved of another anarta, and I, you know, I never know which one is going to pop up until it's right there in front of me. And this one is, like, it's very tricky. You know, it's like, I can see it in others, but I don't see it in myself. And it's this one of exploiting others. And um, I call it the ISKCON disease. <laughs> <laughs> because I saw it manifest uh, so much, and and still to a large degree, but and it, it, so much that because I am serving Krishna, that gives me the right to use you. Yeah, it's just I have some idea of what it means to serve Krishna, and therefore. I can use everyone and everything as I see fit. It's a kind. It's a really a kind of a. Um, it's a bugaboo, and I, I see it in others. Like, I came here uh, two years ago, and I'd been away from devotees and and everything for like twenty years, and I was all excited to meet people. And what I saw was, everyone had their agenda that I was meeting. And they would make friends with me, and then they would try to use me for their agenda, whatever it was. Uh, or to use my resources, or to use me um, for what they were doing because they were convinced they were serving Krishna. And I see that. It's, um, it's very obvious. I had no idea that I also had that. But I do. But I don't now. <laughs> because I see it. Hare <laughs> Krishna. And this recent uh, incident when um, I tried to help somebody, I really extended myself in so many different ways, monetarily, time-wise, facility-wise, try to help this person. And they were very unhappy with me, and they said, you're, you're exploiting me. And I'm like, what? Explaining it. What are you talking about? I didn't understand. And they, this person I see now, they're very, very sensitive and they function on a psychic level. They're not really in touch with explaining things like most people do with nuts and bolts and logic and reason. So what they picked up on was the exploiting energy. 
And they accused me of being just another one of those Prabhupada disciples that uses people and throws them away. And I'm like, what on earth is this person talking about? Use them. I extended all sorts of resources, I, you know, expense, time, everything. What are they talking about? Um, the, 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 my effort to help this person reached a point where I saw that it, it was not compatible because of the way I live, that it wasn't going to work for me. So I tried to make some other arrangement for them, but they came very angry. And they excused me. They accused me of exploiting them. And I'm like, what? I never even asked them to do anything. What are they talking about exploiting? But I see, they were picking up on consciousness. And my idea of helping them was because I had some idea of how I wanted to serve Krishna and I saw them as someone that could help me in my idea of how to serve Krishna. So that's how it translated into um, exactly what goes on what I call the ISKCON disease. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. So seeing that, and I, I've been very unhappy about it. Why did they say that? That makes no sense at all. But now I see it does make sense. It does make sense. That it wasn't exploiting in terms of money or making them do things. It wasn't that. It was the consciousness that I was trying to use them. I felt that it was a good thing because they want to serve, have, try to help Goharidas and the mission and, you know, and then, and they, you know, but no, it's still the exploiting mentality and it, it's gone because, to be honest with you, I have no use for anyone. <laughs> no use at all for anyone. <laughs> I have no use for anyone. Seriously. I have no use for anyone. Hi, <laughs> Krishna. Krishna! Hi, <laughs> Krishna. Krishna. <laughs> Oh God! Wow, what a relief, you know. Get rid of that. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. So I'm thankful, and um, because I was thinking, you know, I have to resolve this with this person because they're also, um, you know, part of the sangha. They block me, and I can't communicate with them. But um, I see it now. What the problem is, so I'm fine. Yeah, I get it. And uh, they were right. They were right. So I got purified. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. I don't know. Yeah, it's no use for anyone, really. What, what, what use do I have for anybody? <laughs> what use are they to me? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna. So, this is how you add years to your life. Krishna, release of an artist. Oh God, yeah. I know there's more. There has to be, you know. But, um... Yeah, I'll have to see what the next one is. I'm sure there's more. I know there is. I can't possibly be finished with them. <laughs> so we'll have to wait and see, you know, what the next one is. And I don't know what they are until it's like right in my face. And I'm like, why won't this go away? It's bothering me. I can't resolve it. Why won't it go away? What is it? What are you trying to show me? What is this? But, 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 you know, and, I, and then, oh. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah. Hare Krishna! Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Uh, it's great to see that on such a subtle level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Like this person, they used like gross examples 
I made them do this, I made them do that, which was a lie. That made it more complicated, and even complicated more, because I didn't make them do this or make them do that. I didn't make them do anything. I didn't ask them to do anything. So they were trying to communicate in the way, only way they knew how to communicate. And that's what they, they were communicating, that this subtle thing. And the, that was the best they could do with it. And uh, it was great, yeah. It was really good. Uh, so all that person is waiting for is apology. You can take a short drive if you're blocked. You can take a short drive if you're blocked. Ah, uh, yeah. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare 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 <laughs> Woo! That's what I've been doing with everyone. It's the same thing that I don't like what people do to me. I've been doing it to everybody. But they, all these people, all these devotees, they come, they have some idea, they make friends with me because they want me to do what they want me to do, what they want me to do. And some of them are really subtle about it and some are like not so subtle. But they just see me as someone to use for what they want to do. And I've just been, you know, booting people out left and right. When I realize what they're doing, out they go. You know, that little um, door through the fence, that, that little, you know, the six foot high wood fence. I just said, well, they went that way. You know, I just, okay, they went that way. And there's a long line of them that just go that way to this wanting to see me as someone to use. And here I am doing the same thing. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Wow, you know, sheesh, Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Hey, Ram, hey, Ram, 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 again. Joy. Tell you. Say, you know, fools and rascals. You know, it's very funny. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. Yeah, yeah. Krishna's special mercy showing in this. Yeah, well, you know, it ties in because you, when you're always hitting and hitting and, and, and smashing speculation, speculation, speculation. And this is tied into speculation speculating of the you know about the service to Krishna. It's a speculation. Hey Krishna hey and it ties in speculation and exploitation. It ties in. I, when the pure um, service is there, the pure glorification, the pure ecstatic loving worship of the Lord is there. There's no speculation and there's no exploitation. They're not there. It's only when there's this other kind, other thing going on there. Hare Krishna. Hare. So it's a like subtle self-aggrandizement, so the false ego, subtle. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Oh my word! <laughs> Oh, God. Is this fun or what? I mean, come on. This is like, this is so much fun. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Hare. Hare Ram. Hare Ram. Ram Ram. Hare Hare. 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. <coughs> Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. <laughs> Whoa! Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. It's a blast. Whoa, yeah. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Yeah, it's like, uh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. <laughs> oh, Krishna. Ah, 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, <laughs> Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, yeah. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare Krishna. Ah. Ah. Right. Create a show on earth, for sure. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. You know, the other day it was, it was dark and it was cold here. And I was thinking, Yeah, I was thinking, you know, maybe I could just like go to the temple and just for japa, you know, just ch <laughs> <laughs> you know, not necessarily for the Mongol Arctic and not necessarily for the class or anything, or but just go to chant Hare Krishna with the devotees. So I was sitting here like that, you know, Hare Krishna. I was thinking, and I was kind of visualizing being in the temple room with the devotees. And I started screaming and laughing and crying. And, I, and then I realized, oh, I can't go over there. I can't do it. It would be too disturbing for them, you know. It's like, what if I was calling out like that, you know? I don't want to stop it. When that, when that desire comes to call out like that, I, I don't want to stop it. You know, that's like what I'm praying. That's what I live on, is being able to call out for Krishna. I mean, really call out, you know? And I was like, what I would, you know, what am I gonna do? Hold it in so I can sit with. And if I did that, I mean, like, you know, it would like be. So I can't. I, I forget it. I can't go. <laughs> like sometimes, if they're having like a really big kirtan where there's lots and lots of people, like not just devotees but guests and all kinds of people in there, and the room's packed, 
And I can go to one of those kirtans because, you know, if these feelings start to come out, they don't notice it so much. You know, I can... I mean, that's a possibility, you know. But uh, other than that, I don't see, you know. That's so sure. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Now I got to see two live shows, yeah. I got a double dip. I got Prabhupada. And now I have the preaching mission that Prabhupada's given to you, that Prabhupada has empowered you with, given you his blessings, is to, um, <clears throat> to teach what's in the books. I did, as you see, I posted something. I said um, it was a realization I had that <clears throat> early on, when the books were just being printed, and as soon as one was available from the printer and the publisher, we'd run through the streets with it. And Prabhupada, the instruction at the time was, don't talk to the people and preach to them so much. What will your three-minute talk do? Give them a book. Okay, that was then. They wanted to get the books out, and we're talking, 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 get the books out. That was the mission. Print the books, get the books out. So now the books are printed, and they are out, and people are reading them. They're free online. They're everywhere. Um, you know, they're everywhere. And uh, so that's not the order anymore, is what will your three-minute talk to get to? The order now is coming through through you, Srila Gauharidas, is to um, actually show what's in the books. That's the new order. The old order was, don't preach to the people so much, just get the books out. Now the order is, okay, they're reading the books, the books are out, now show what's in the books. And it's just common sense. It's just, it's just, it's just common sense. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. <clears throat> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, So, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. So, how about what's in the books? How about qualities? Of Krishna. Hey Krishna, hey Krishna, 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 hey, hey. <coughs> Qualities of Krishna further explained. Thank you, Srila Prabhupada. Thank you, Srila Guru Haridas. Thank you, all the Vaishnavas. Hare hey, Krishna, hey Krishna, 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 hey, hey. Thank you, Lord Chaitanya. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hey, Richard Robbins, how are you going? Yeah. All right, so, <clears throat> it's the uh, qualities of Krishna further explained. So, um, there's, what, 64 qualities here. And uh, the first, first section, discussing the first, like, maybe 30 or 40 qualities, are qualities that um, a devotee can also have, at least in you know small quantity, because the devotee is only small, and Krishna is the ocean of all these qualities, so he has them in full. The devotee can also have these qualities. So one of them is beautiful bodily features. Another is auspicious characteristics. He's very pleasing, and there are all examples of this. These qualities. Effulgent, ever youthful, wonderful linguist, truthful. Pleasing talker, like that. A devotee can have those qualities also. But these latter qualities, only Krishna can really have. For instance, Krishna's body generates innumerable universes. <laughs> it would be safe to say that that is a quality that only Krishna has, that his body generates innumerable universes. 
So these qualities are really, only Krishna has these. Uh, so here's a uh, little explanation of Krishna's body generates innumerable universes. In the 10th Kano, Lord Brahma says, My dear Lord, false ego, intelligence, mind, sky, air, fire, water, and earth, are the material ingredients of this universe, which, be, which can be compared to a gigantic pot. In that gigantic pot, my body is of insignificant measurement, and even though one of the many universes is created by me, innumerable universes are coming and going from the pores of your body, just as atomic particles are seen flickering in the sunlight. I think I am very, very insignificant before you, and I am therefore begging your pardon. Please be merciful toward me. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. I, you know, it's, I understand Krishna is not an ordinary person. He doesn't want all of this opulence and power and might and majesty to get in the way of loving relationships with his parts and parcels. He doesn't want that to get in the way, but you should understand he's not a mundane person. He's an extraordinary person, and innumerable universes are emanating from his body. <laughs> but don't let that get in the way. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Oh, Krishna! I mean, who wouldn't want a friend like that? I mean. Incredible friend, a, a friend, you know, a, a, a buddy, a friend, or in more advanced kinds of relationships, a lover, an intimate associate. Oh, come on, you know. Woo. If one takes account of only one universe, he will find so many combinations of wonderful things within, because there are innumerable planets innumerable residences and places of demigods. Okay, so that's one universe. The length and breadth of the universe is 400 million miles by 400 million miles. And I remember reading this the other day and I was like, seems like it would be bigger. I mean, 400 million, you know. There's a lot of people that have 400 million dollars, you know, but and then again, this is a small universe, this particular one, and it is miles, 400 million miles. Hmm. Anyway, it's big. The length and breadth of the universe is 400 million miles by 400 million miles, and it is infested. <coughs> Usually, <coughs> we use that word for something undesirable, <coughs> like roaches or ants or something. It is infested with many unfathomable, 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 some words are very hard to say, unfathomable regions <laughs> known as patalas or downward planetary systems. Although Krishna is the origin of all this, he can always be seen in Vrindavan, exhibiting his inconceivable potencies. So who can adequately worship such an all-powerful Lord possessed of such inconceivable energy? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. It's interesting that residents of Vrindavan, they'll see Krishna do something quite extraordinary and um, it just sort of gets by them, you know, like lifting Govardhan Hill. Somehow they just accepted that he was standing there like, what was he, like six years old or something, lifting a huge hill on a little finger. Um, <laughs> somehow they were able to accept it. And he didn't get in the way of their loving feelings and loving emotions for Krishna. <laughs> it's like, yeah, sure, 
Krishna can do that, right? <laughs> Krishna. <laughs> That's really inconceivable. That doesn't, doesn't get in the way of their... <laughs> he, can, he can exhibit his extraordinary powers. Uh, the same with Mother Yasoda. She was breastfeeding him, and um, she looked in his mouth, and she saw all the universes, all creation, um, and then her head started to spin, and because she, she couldn't stop thinking of him as her, as her baby, but her head was spinning to see all of this, and then Krishna took it away. So it relieved her of seeing. So he would display sometimes his, his opulences, <laughs> but it didn't get in the way. It didn't get in the way of the loving exchanges uh, with his devotees. Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram. And they never actually thought of him as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. They never thought of him that way. They thought of him as extraordinary. <clears throat> but they didn't, uh, they didn't uh, approach him or address him as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, which in uh, Dwarka he was acknowledged as. And he also had loving exchanges, but he was recognized that he was the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Another quality of Krishna, uh, well, the original source of all incarnations, Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Hare Hare. It's just inconceivable that Krishna is making himself available in the way that he is through this uh, incarnation of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, He's actually bringing um, the most fallen living entities, causeless mercy, into his uh, intimate association. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, on the highest level of, of, of loving exchange. Uh, how is this happening, you know? It's just, just the Lord's desire. It's Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. have to ask, you know, how are we so fortunate to to be here on this planet now, at this time? To whatever proximity we may be to the truth that is unfolding. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. So the demigods take, want to take birth here, so they can take part. I mean, they haven't wanted to come here for eons. <laughs> Especially after Lord uh, Buddha stopped the sacrifices, and he said that they haven't been interested in this place. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. But now that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy is flooding the planet, the holy name is let loose everywhere. And the demigods also want to take part. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram. How are we so fortunate? Hmm. Yeah. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. <clears throat> First I got to hear from Srila Prabhupada. I saw him in 1967. It was my first meeting with Prabhupada. And uh, now I get to hear from Srila Gaurahari I think I found him in 2013. And that same, um, I remember, you know, coming into the Krishna consciousness movement back then. It was very clear to me what, something I was experiencing, and it was like a beam. I was get, I was like, you know, I was being beamed. I could feel this beam. It was coming from. The beam was guiding me. I mean, it was. It just it was. It was a really. Um, pronounced um, experience. It was like led by this being, right, too. And a similar kind of experience with um, Sulagur Haridas. 
Hare Krishna in his preaching. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Ram. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. How am I so fortunate? I don't know. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. I have no value, really. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Okay, so Krishna is the original source of all incarnations. <clears throat> ah. Jayadev Goswami, in his Gita Govinda, has sung as follows. Quote, The Lord has saved the Vedas in his form as a fish, and he has borne the whole universe on his back in the form of a tortoise. Okay, so that's that. that there's a song, Jayadev Goswami's song. Uh, Keshava, no, yeah, Keshava Drita and Narahari Rupa is part of that. The song to Lord Shimidev's incarnation is part of that song. But it's a song on all the verses glorify the different manifestations of Krishna. The fish, the tortoise, the, the, the half lion, half man, and like that. Buddha is in there. So Jayadev Goswami in his Gita Govinda has sung as follows. Quote, the Lord has saved the Vedas in his form as a fish. He has borne the whole universe on his back in the form of a tortoise. He has picked up this earthly planet from the water in the form of a boar. He has killed Hiranyakashipu in the form of Nishinga. He has cheated Maharaj Bali in the form of Vamana. He has annihilated all the dynasties of the Chatriyas in the form of Parasharan. He has killed all the demons in the form of Lord Ram. He has accepted the great plow in the form of Balaram. He has annihilated all the atheistic persons in the form of Kalki. And he has saved all the poor animals in the form of Lord Buddha. End of the quote. <clears throat> These are some of the descriptions of the incarnations emanating from Krishna and from the Srimad Bhagavatam it is understood that innumerable incarnations are always coming out from the body of Krishna, just like waves in the ocean. <clears throat> no one can even count <clears throat> how many waves there are. And similarly, no one <clears throat> can count how many incarnations are coming from the Lord's body. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, hi hi. Hey Paul, William Sherbert, I mean Schubert. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Yeah, Janaki, you're a tough act to follow. I'm sorry. I just <laughs> <coughs> Krishna, wow. I tell you, you know, you were crying and crying. And Janaki, I was laughing and laughing because it was so beautiful. It was so wonderful. It was making me so, so blissful that it was just la I was just like laughing. It was so beautiful to see you cry. Hi, Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna. <laughs> ah, Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna. Oh my God, pouring your heart out. Oh, jeez. Hare Krishna. So, another quality of Krishna. <clears throat> Krishna gives salvation to the enemies. He kills. So these are qualities of Krishna that only Krishna really has. Nobody else has these qualities. Um, <clears throat> another name for salvation is apavarga apavarga is the opposite of pavarga or the various miserable conditions of material existence yeah when it's an A in front of something it's the opposite of it so pavarga is miserable conditions of material existence and apavarga is the opposite which means uh, salvation the word pavarga consists of the combination of five letters. Krishna. So you're going to break the word down here into pavarga means the miserable conditions. He's going to break the word down into like just the basic phonetic sounds. And at pa, pa, ba, ba, and ma. These letters are the first letters of the words for different conditions as described below. First letter, pa, <coughs> comes from the word 
Parabhava, which means defeat. Ah, in this material struggle for existence, <clears throat> we are all simply meeting defeat. Like you explained how three times, Janaki was explaining in her video just a little while ago, three times she experienced having everything taken away. That's a kind of defeat in material existence when you have everything taken away from you. That's, you know, you're defeated, right? So we are simply meeting defeat in material existence. Actually, we have to conquer birth, death, disease, and old age because there is no possibility of overcoming these miserable conditions. Due to the illusion of Maya, we are simply meeting with Parabhava, or defeat. <coughs> you know, it's interesting. There's a saying, uh, you shouldn't enter a battle that you can't win. You know, it, it's foolishness to enter into a battle that you have no possibility of winning. And yet, <coughs> in the material uh, existence, People are struggling with these things even though there's no possibility of being successful, ultimately. <clears throat> because ultimately there's just defeat. So it absolute, makes absolutely no sense to enter into a struggle or a battle that you can't win. But there's no common sense. You know, common sense. I mean, you should, you should struggle with it and then ultimately meet defeat. Uh, but it's due to the illusion of Maya. Yeah. The next letter, Pa, is taken from the word Panilla. This description is really, is like really gross. <laughs> Panilla is the foam which is found on the mouth when one is very tired, as is commonly observed with horses. <coughs> who works so hard, struggle so hard, actually foaming at the mouth. <coughs> the letter ba comes from the word banda or bondage. And ba, with an H, is taken from the word biti or fearfulness. Phew, what an environment to try to exist in. Defeat, um, exhaustion, fearfulness. Bondage. Blah. Krishna. Change the channel. Ma, M-A, is taken from the word riti, or death. Krishna, 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 Okay, so somehow we're discussing this in relationship to that. <clears throat> so the word pavarga signifies our struggle for existence and our meeting with defeat, exhaustion, bondage, fearfulness, and at last, death. Abhavarga, which is what Krishna gives, means that which can nullify all these material conditions. Krishna is said to be the giver of apavarga, the path of liberation. And that is, Krishna does that. They get the path of liberation. Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Krishna is amazing. Hare Krishna, Hare. For the impersonalists <clears throat> and the enemies of Krishna, liberation means to merge into the Supreme. And there's different types of, different types of liberation. Um, there's like, what, four or five different types? And this type is a type of liberation that a devotee will never accept this. The other types devotees might accept. I don't know if they're discussed here or not, but there's four other types to live um, as an associate of the Lord, to live on the same planet as the Lord, to have the same bodily features as the Lord, um, and there's some, and the same opulence as the Lord. I think those are the other four. And this type of liberation is reserved for <clears throat> impersonalists and enemies. Krishna. They all get to hang out together in the Brahma Jodi. It's a type of liberation. But a devotee will never accept that. They will never accept that. <clears throat> because the demons and the impersonalists do not care for Krishna. But Krishna is so kind 
that he gives this liberation even to his enemies and the impersonalists. You know, when you come in contact with Krishna, something's going to happen. <laughs> Krishna, you're going to get something if you come into contact with Krishna. There is the following, because he's all-powerful and he's absolute. So there is the following statement in this connection. Quote, O Marari, Krishna, how wonderful it is that although the demons, who were always envious of the demigods, have failed to penetrate your military phalanx, they have penetrated the region of Mitra, the sun globe. End quote. <clears throat> the word Mitra is used metaphorically. Mitra means the sun globe, and Mitra also means friend. Hmm. Krishna. The demons who opposed Krishna as enemies wanted to penetrate his military phalanx. But instead of doing this, they died in battle, and the result was that they penetrated the planet of Mitra, or the sun planet. In other words, they entered into the Brahmani Fulgens. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, so poetic, you know, the way things are described, so um, beautiful illustrations and, and very poetic. And like, you know, when Janaki shares, she gives lots of illustrations. It's really, really, uh, it's really helpful, you know. So a very uh, kind of Krishna conscious thing to do, illustrate, use illustrations and examples to paint a picture, you know, so it can visualize the, the, uh, the, um, the essence of what's being said, to use something to uh, be able to reveal the essence. It's uh, real, real nice. The example of the sun planet is given here because the sun is ever illuminating, like the spiritual sky where there are innumerable illuminating Vaikuntha planets. Hare Krishna! The enemies of Krishna were killed, and instead of penetrating Krishna's phalanx, they entered into the friendly atmosphere of the spiritual effulgence. We try to visualize that a little bit. Okay, there's a battle going on. Krishna's here, and there's some enemies of Krishna. They have their armies here. And the way they would fight was they would make different arrangements, military arrangements. And it was exact science, really. So Krishna would have his armies arranged a certain way, and they would try to penetrate the phalanx to break it so that they could get in there and do some damage. But instead of being able to penetrate the phalanx, they were killed, and then they penetrated into the Brahmani fulgence. That is pretty amazing. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare. They were trying to enter into the military phalanx. They were killed. Instead, they entered into. Oh, that is pretty amazing. That is really. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Johnny says, I never felt like I paint a clear picture that others can see. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, my goodness. It's like. You speak in hieroglyphics, for goodness sake. You, you, don't, you don't even use words, you use pictures. <laughs> it's great. It's, it's, it's a gift. You have a tap. Some, some people actually do artwork, and some people do music. And when you speak, you, you know, it's like hieroglyphics, you know. <laughs> it's great. Little pictures. It's nice. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Ram. <clears throat> okay, so another exa another quality of Krishna is is the attractor of liberated souls. Ah, Srila Gauharidas, I didn't see the comment. Ah, Krishna. Yeah, yeah, from before. I'm sorry, I didn't see the comments. It's hard to keep up with sometimes. Uh, Gauri says, uh, they were not purified enough to explain the books, but now it's time to explain what's in there. 
Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. No, they weren't purified enough. And um, also, um, the books had to get out. And if you're sitting around talking, you know, you, you could be getting like 20 or 30 books out, and instead you're talking to someone, and they even say, well, that was nice talking with you, but thank you, I don't want the book, which happened a lot. <laughs> and you sit there, you talk with someone, they'd agree with you, they'd be all excited, and then you hand them, they say, yeah, well, I, no, actually, I don't want the book. <laughs> That's what would happen. <laughs> yeah, Krishna. But now, the books are out. They're out. And uh, <clears throat> so now it's time. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. So he said, it's part of laying the foundation, isn't it? Laying the foundation. I mean, what kind of a movement is it if what's in the books doesn't come out, even though all the books are out? I mean, isn't that something, something like drastically wrong with that? I mean, why are the books out there in the first place? <laughs> it's just the logical next step in the march of Lord Chaitanya's Sankirtan. This is a natural, logical, makes perfect sense. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. And the devotee has been... Um, given that order. They're carrying it out. Ta-da! Hare Krishna! <laughs> Hare Krishna! Hare Krishna! Hare Krishna! 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 And Gauri says, beautiful bodily means, beautiful features means the beauty of spiritual body. Yes, yes, spiritual body. Hare Krishna! Hare Krishna! 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 Hare Hare! Hare Mom! Hare Mom! Ram Ram! Hare Hare! But you know, devotees do have beautiful bodies also because they're glowing. They glow and there's a kind of beauty. You know, even if the body, like by material standards, isn't all that beautiful, like maybe their nose is too long or they might even have some sort of uh, um, deformity or something. But there's a kind of beauty in there, a, a, a effulgent beauty in there that, that's not dependent on the outer covering. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. So the Lord has beautiful bodily features, and devotees also can have that beautiful bodily features, and their bodies become spiritualized like that. And they, they, they appear very beautiful. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. <clears throat> Next uh, quality of Krishna further explained. The attractor of liberated souls There are many, this is a short paragraph here of this quality of Krishna. There are many examples of how Krishna attracted even great liberated souls like Sukadeva Goswami and the Kumaras. In this connection, the following statement was given by the Kumaras. Ah, now, ha 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 ha. Ha ha. So the Kumaras, we know, were uh, liberated souls, but they had this impersonal, liberation, impersonal liberation. And But now they're saying, here's what they're saying, after becoming attracted to Krishna, through a devotee, they became attracted to Krishna through Srimati Tulsi Devi. They became attracted to the fragrance of the Tulsi flowers on the feet of the Lord. They say, how wonderful it is that Although we are completely liberated, free from desire, and situated at the stage of Paramahamsa, we're still aspiring to taste pastimes of Radha and Krishna. Hare Krishna, the attractor of liberated souls. Okay, well, Hare Krishna, that was fun. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Everybody wants to have fun. That was fun. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Rama,
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. What next? Hold <laughs> on your, hold on your hat. Make sure you got your seatbelt strapped in. Hare Krishna.